Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Rocket League user created map of the week. So, these videos are supposed to come out on Friday, and I swear from here on out, they will be coming out every Friday, a new user made map of the week. As per usual now, there will only be ma one map, and this map is made by someone that is very close to our community and really helps us a lot on, you know, all the little things in Unity and, uh, not Unity, and in uh, Unreal Engine, and helps us try to figure everything out. So this map is uh, basically a Quidditch map, so you're playing on a map of Quidditch, just like Harry Potter. So in my personal opinion, I love Harry Potter a lot, so this is why this map really um, took the storm up here. But I'm already thinking what I know I have planned for next week's map of the week, since it's coming up shortly because I'm a little late on this. And I'm sorry about uh, not really being here so much, I was just really busy with work and stuff. So... Uh, also, the name of the person that made it is Butter and Cream, is what we call him. Oh, that's what he is in our team speak. And I really do enjoy this map. Uh, he recommends us play with low gravity and limited boost and stuff. Um, so this here that I have right here is a Rocket League map loader that uh, Tim made. So it will be pretty useful. And if you guys want, I can make a video telling you how to use this. It's not too complicated, so it would be a short video. But... Uh, basically where you can download it and everything and also you can download all these maps off of the reddit the rocket league uh, like custom map forms or something modding something the subreddit it'll be in the description uh, let me just change my car really quickly um, go back to the aftershock okay so basically now we have it so you can play in training as well most of these maps you should be able to do not training by uh, exhibition so gravity low boost unlimited uh, you have to play it on Bethwick Park because it's park underscore P. That's the map for it. Uh, you can put whatever mutators in you want in there, but for most maps, well, for every map, you have to disable goal reset because some reason it spazzes out. So let's get into this map. So we'll join the blue team. So this is the map. Um, it's a pretty nice map. I mean, it's got a different texture to it but it's called future quidditch so as you see here this is a goal right here is this one and it is not just like a blinking thing you can actually hit it and there's the one above us up there and then there's the one on the ground right there and in front of these two there's two ramps which has also been recently found out that how to make like sloped ramps and stuff so we have a couple sloped ramps on the wall we have slope ramps right there so you can like you know, hit it up as I can show right now. It's a little bit actually harder to do on low gravity and stuff. Don't know how I feel about this on low gravity, but the, as I will show you guys right now, we can do it on the small little goal right here. Um, the goals actually do work if you shoot them in there. They'll score a goal and the ball will reset, but for some reason with the replays, it won't work. So, this map is a lot of fun, and I can see if you can. Once we can get it, where you can play with a couple of your friends and stuff, I can see it being so much fun and being a bass playing this with like four friends because it's a pretty big map. And you know, having like someone just sit in the goal playing defense, like you can fly up here, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to just sit in. Let me just try to get in here. Yeah, see, so you can kind of get yourself in the goal and look you can sit here just like a keeper in actual quidditch and you know if a ball is coming up you can fly up for it and stop it so it, I can see this being a very very enjoyable game type and it being a lot of fun you know maybe some little custom rules to it or to kind of make it a little bit more like quidditch and make it a little easier to score goals I mean obviously the map isn't finished yet he's still working on it but as of right now it is very very cool it's all this uh cool little grid red texture which is supposed to be the futuristic part of it so it fits into all that like kind of rocket league feel and honestly since i i love harry potter i can play this map all the time it's so much fun i've been playing a ton of it to like try it out and stuff but and also the walls do work um i'm sure he'll add slopes to all of them but you can drive up the wall and stuff they're not as solid as normal rocket league walls but we're still working on that but they work. You can drive on them and stuff. They're a little drifty. Um, so that's very well done as well. And I do like the ramps on the side. 
just he needs to kind of put it around all of them and once we get the walls fully working how they should be I think this map will be pretty damn awesome and then hopefully I'm hoping that soon Rocket League will let us just play these custom maps whenever we want and we don't have to do it in some secret way or not secret way but have to do it like this I hope they really support this whole modding thing and people making their own maps and you know maybe even make a playlist of the best maps and stuff like that but as the moment we're still working a lot on map making trying to figure everything out we've got goals we're trying to figure out how to do it without disable reset playing with each other like new places to put maps but um, in the description I will put the subreddit down there that will basically have everything from how to make what we know so far how to make your own map own maps to download where you can upload maps for the whole community to see and this like a couple I think there's like a hundred people on the subreddit that subscribe to it so we have a pretty decent number um, I definitely encourage you guys to come check it out uh, it's very cool some stuff and people that make these really cool maps uh, so I'm thinking for next week to get you guys thinking of what I'm gonna do is next week's map is going to be uh, air hockey because someone made a whole air hockey thing and it's pretty cool so I think that will be next week's map but uh, we'll have to see as time comes so these maps will be coming out every Friday well these videos will be coming out every Friday now on uh, so that will be the schedule from then so look out for them next look out for this next Friday so I'm so sorry that it's been taking a while for me to upload this I've been pretty busy but I hope you guys enjoyed this map. I know I really do. And it is a really fun map. And I'm excited for all these new maps that these people are making. Because they are really awesome. And I really enjoy them. So this has been Epic Eclipse. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.